Yeah, I mean, I think that I wanted to write about um, young Latina mothers, uh, you know, who get pregnant when they're still basically children themselves. And then I'm probably interested in that topic, though, because uh, my mother, being a labor delivery nurse, was always coming home and giving us uh, stories. And so the character of uh, Maya kind of came out naturally. And, you know, the character of Maya is not necessarily similar to my mother in how they are, but... Um, having that sort of be uh, one of the heroines of the play it was definitely felt like when I got done. I th actually, I think it was Megan, actually, who actually was the first person who called it a poem to my mother because um, it seemed like I was uh, exploring the good things that, that she's done with her life. Um, and that wasn't odd for me at all because also my mother's always loved her job, even though she worked long hours when I was growing up. Um, she actually really, really adores being a labor delivery nurse. Like, um, my family comes into my plays a lot, even if I don't write about family specifically. Um, I use them a lot as basis for characters and things like that. Um, so sometimes I am like writing about something um, and I clarify it and be like, hey, was this, I'm sort of making this assumption about what they thought or what they were doing in this character. And then she'll sort of give me feedback. Um, when I was forming the story, I would tell her to tell her like, I'm thinking of doing this. And then she would maybe correct it and be like, well, actually I think it would be, this would be more realistic. Or I would ask her like, what is the likelihood of this happening? Um, so I kind of would just bounce ideas, um, mostly to get um, her approval so the, the, the play feels that it actually, uh, it's still a play, but it does feel like it's somewhat um, actual in terms of how it's portrayed and stuff, or everything feels like it's coming from a real place as opposed to just me just inventing. Um, and then when I got down to actually, when Megan and I were working on this, um, I think at the Lark in New York, we definitely um, were checking lots and lots of um, technical details um, with her. So I mean, in that in that workshop, whatever she was listed as like a uh, some sort of resource person because she actually was giving me a lot of the language and stuff like that for the technical aspects in the hospital. Yeah, I think I don't remember anymore because it's been a while. But I think we first got paired up um, because I was looking for a female director for this play um, who was a parent, um, and she had had kids not that long before we met. Um, so her response to the play was more uh, fascinating to me because like a i think also being a male writing this play um i still have a point of view that's not you know that that's a little bit tougher to get inside some of the what these characters are going through um and so i really felt that i needed someone who understood it in a deeper way and i remember even just the first time we met and talked about the play she had lots of thoughts and ideas that were like oh wow she's gonna just bring a lot of perspective to this um you know in addition to being a wonderful director um so originally yeah, it was because she was a parent, uh, but then, you know, you know, you meet directors and it's always almost like dating a little bit. You sit and you have coffee or whatever and you kind of feel if you vibe. Uh, but I remember the first meeting with her was very productive and I was like, oh, yes, yes, this is the person. And then once we started working on it, she was so good. Um, I just sort of kept asking her to be part of every, anything sort of um, if there was a reading, if there was a, a workshop, whatever it was. Um, and then when ASU came up, uh, she was uh, the, mostly the only name on my list. Um, and luckily she could do it. I always think also that time is one of the best things for writers because you get to just, if you set something down for a while, you almost forget um, your brain pathways of like how it all worked and why it made sense. And you'll, you'll read something again and be like, wait, what was I doing here? Um, so actually getting to revisit the script. And I purposely didn't really look at it until I had to do a rewrite to, before rehearsal started um, just because I wanted to, to not almost not know it as a, as a writer. Um, but, you know, I, I'm very much drawn to this sort of, I think Teresa Rebeck said this thing about... Um, you don't really know your play till like maybe the third production. Um, and so I think because you, you can form a relationship with the play on paper, but then it's not really till you get in the room and you're like, oh, OK, here's a bunch of edits I, don't, I want. Here's the things that are not necessary. Um, so I was really excited to get in the room and actually do a draft of the script that is for performance. Um, I feel like the one that I'm able to get on my own is always more like it reads well um, as someone's reading it. And it might read well at the table, but it's really not to get on your feet that I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. It's been really, really wonderful to actually, A, because of COVID, be in a room again, but um, just be in the room with this play and Megan and these actors and being like, oh, okay, let's actually explore it and figure out what this scene is or why is this scene not working or why, why was it better on paper? Um, so it's been really, really exciting for me. Well, I mean, one great thing, you know, obviously is like, I've only seen the play done with actors who are, you know, portraying, you know, especially for uh, Laz and for um, Mira, um, they've been actors who have been in their you know mid twenties who are who play young. So actually seeing people closer to the ages are actually is actually really helpful for me because there's just certain things that like, even a, a really wonderful actor um, there's something in, like almost in the body of like 
especially for the Mira character, I'd say even for Luna's character, a less comfortable in their body. There's something just like a little bit of, of, of um, physicality that's actually just almost not attainable unless you are younger. Um, and so they bring that sort of naturally. Um, and then, you know, the other thing that I, I was thinking about this when I was answering a quote for um, something at ASU with some of the, the press person or whatever, um, that watching rehearsals, I really did come to this conclusion. I was like, oh, like this play actually is a lot about, you know, being younger and sort of thinking your life's going to go a certain way and not knowing um, and then dealing later with like how it did or didn't go a certain way. Um, and that theme, actually, it's not like overly in there as much as maybe something about, you know, pregnancy and stuff like that. But it's in there a lot in terms of like, what will I, what, what's in store for me and actually what will I accomplish and also what didn't I do or what would I wish I could have done. Um, and I don't think I would have got that theme as much um, without watching younger actors do it. So that's actually been kind of fascinating for me because it's just sometimes you don't even know things that are in there until you're actually in the room and you're like, oh yeah, this is like the third scene where like that theme has come up a lot, you know? So. Probably after I see the uh, I, the Saturday performance, I will probably, uh, and again, I'm, I'm in the room, but I'm always like sort of uh, paying attention to the audience as much as I am the play, you know? Um, and I think I'll, I'll probably get another pass at it after this uh, experience because, you know, that's just like I was saying, it's, it's just an experience uh, you can't really get just by staring at the page all the time. Um, so I'll get to have a new draft of it, um, and I get to show people again to see, like... And I think there's... You know, the play is still the same play it's been before, but it's cleaner. There's just things I like about it a lot more now that I have this draft of it uh, because of the production. So, like, I actually get to, like, have a new version of it in my brain. Um, so hopefully, yeah, hopefully it'll get picked up and get done somewhere else. So I'm excited, though, to have... Because um, I actually had stopped sending it places... Um, cause I knew there were still issues in the play before this production that I was sort of like, yeah, that scene or this doesn't work as well or whatever it might be. Um, so now I'm actually like, oh no, I think it all is, is much better functioning than it was before.